नमस्कार इन दिस सेशन वील डिस्कस अबाउट द मोटिवेशन चैप्टर एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट वेन वी वी इन द इंट्रोडक्शन इट सेल्फ वेन वी स्टडी प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट मैनेजमेंट इज द गेटिंग द जॉब डन फ्रॉम द अदर्स मैनेजमेंट इज एन आर्ट ऑफ गेटिंग द जॉब फ्रॉम द अदर्स सो हाउ जॉब विल बी डन गेटिंग विल बी डन फ्रॉम द अदर्स अनलेस अंटिल दे आर मोटिवेटेड Hence, motivation is the most important topic. Most, most important topic in the principle of management. And as far as examination is concerned, write down one question has to be there from the motivation. One wrong question from the motivation chapter has to be there. So please concentrate. We will study here motivation. So here motivation means process of stimulating people to action. to accomplish the desired goal what is the motivation it's a persuasion is st st stimulating the person to do the desired goal the manager has to motivate manager has to stimulate the per other persons so that the desired work is accomplished so that is known as motivation so as far as uh, this etymology is concerned motivation term is derived from the motive motive means that requires some satisfaction these needs wants desires may be acquired through influencing the culture society lifestyle so motivation is a psychological term yes motivation is a psychological term which means it cannot be forced by on the employees it comes automatically from inside the employees as it is willingness to do the work so the motivational factor has to work on the psychology of the employee we have to see how employees can be motivated so as per the jo kelly what defines he says motivation is the process whereby needs instigate the behavior so here need is more important need instigates the behavior if there is no need changing of behavior behavior will be difficult so what management has to do management has to find the needs of the person what is the most important need of the person he will be motivated he will be uh, influenced by that need only what is scott said he said motivation means a process of stimulating people to action to accomplish the desired goal so again desired goal has to be achieved as far as michael j jucius is concerned motivation is the act of stimulating someone or oneself to get a desired action or job course of action done so it has some process motivation is having some process number one is unsatisfied need please understand only and only unsatisfied need will work as a motivation if the, you don't have need or your all needs are satisfied nobody can motivate a saint one sadhu ek sadhu mahatma jo jangal mein baithe hue hai a saint who is sitting in a jungle he is doing some tapasya nobody can motivate him because he has renounced the world he, he He, he doesn't believe in the material uh, world, so he has renounced the world and he has gone to jungle for tapasya. So that is why need is most important thing. Unsatisfied need only work as motivational factor. Then unsatisfied need work as a tension. If you are feeling hungry, then you comes comes you come into the tension. Then that hungerness. drives you to do something then search of behavior what i should do so that the hunger can be satisfied then satisfaction of the need after searching of the behavior need is satisfied then reduction of the tension then what happens unsatisfied need means there is no end of need need will keep on changing and management will keep on motivating till this life is on this earth we are motivated by our needs and needs are continuously changing when we get the food after that we need uh, clothes when we need when we got the clothes we need shelter 
when we got the shelter we need some social security when we got the social security we need some improvement among us when we got the improvement then we need to reach to the place where one can go and this cycle keep on going on even in food also if if you get the uh, bread next day you may desire chapati next day you may desire paratha next day you may desire puri so quality also differs need also differs so unsatisfied need work as a motivational factor features of motivation motivation is the psychological phenomena already discussed motivation produces goal directed behavior yes motivated person works towards the achievement of the goal motivators can be positive as well as negative yes motivation can be positive as well as negative also the behavior can be changed by positive by by giving some reward by giving some prize by appreciating or behavior can be changed by punishing also a criminal he is not amending himself correcting himself he will be put behind the bars it is a negative unless until you correct yourself you will not be released from the jail so it's a negative main motivation in in department also sometimes we are getting appreciation sometimes we are getting promotion sometimes we are getting um, increments sometimes management or superior gives memo also sometimes they stop the increment also so that whatever wrong behavior was there that behavior can be modified changed from negative to positive motivation is a complex process yes it's not easy so many things are involved so motivation is a complex process motivation is dynamic and continuous process yes the need and behavior changes from person to person area to area time to time place to place and it's a continuous process one need cannot be um, one need cannot work as a motivation for a long duration that need keeps on changing so that behavior can be changed accordingly so this is the principle of management what is the advantages it in, in, improve the performance of the employees the morale of the employees goes high coordination of the management and employees are very good labor absenteeism and turnover comes down wastage of industries comes down productivity increases and ob objective of the firm is achieved within the stipulated time what is the advantages to the earlier it was advantages to the employer now advantages to the employees employees get various monetary and non monetary benefits security of employment is there job at attraction and job satisfaction is there higher status and opportunities are there position approach is there reduction in the rate of labor turnover is there and better scope of improvement is there types of motivation type motivation can be positive motivation and negative motivation so positive negative motivation means the employees are offered incentive and seek to improve the performance voluntarily negative means fear fear is based upon the motivation so if some fear is caused employee will work properly so negative motivation is the based upon the fear and fear also works basically management does the motivation keeping in mind the positive as well as negative both so some principle of uh, motivation is there and one by one we can see it. so this is the motivation now we will learn theories of motivation in the next lecture till that keep on revising namaskar